Welcome back YouTube. So yesterday we made <clears throat> some, um, what did we make yesterday? Some vegan avocado chocolate cookies. Um, I thought they ended up coming out absolutely delicious. They smelt good. They tasted good. Um, if you haven't already seen that video, check it out. Uh, it, it's definitely worth trying. The recipe is amazing and they come out tasting delicious. So, um, keeping on the healthy theme, because this is weight loss time now, today we are going to make vegan, gluten-free um, avocado, zucchini, chocolate chip cookies. So, without further ado, the first thing I have already done, just like I did with the cookies yesterday to save time, all I did was um, mash up one avocado. So to that one avocado, I'm going to add um, two cups of shredded zucchini. For me, um, two cups worked out to be just about uh, two medium-sized zucchinis. I used kind of large and I had some left over, so like two medium-sized zucchini should um, give you two cups. So I just used a regular cheese grater and grated them right down, and I got I got a little over. I only need the two cups, but I ended up getting like two and a half, close to three cups out of two good-sized zucchinis. So just use two medium zucchinis, and you'll be fine. To that, I'm also going to add um, flax seed uh, mixture. What this is, is this is two tablespoons of ground flaxseed that I um, put into a quarter cup of warm water. And then you just let it sit for 10 minutes or so. Give it a little, give it a little shake, a little stir, and then we'll pour that right on in. Okay. So next to this mixture we are going to add is a half a cup of agave nectar, which is a fantastic substitute. Uh, if you don't want to use agave nectar, you could use maple syrup. I always just find agave to give it a nice, a nice flavor. So. We're going to give that a nice mix in. Then we are going to add um, two, um, two teaspoons of vanilla. There's one and two. Okay. So we add two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Use the real stuff, not the imitation. And we're going to give this just a nice, a nice mix. Get everything combined and incorporated in here. These are the wet ingredients, so don't be alarmed. Zucchini is filled with water. Um, so, you know, don't be alarmed when you see that this is very, very watery right now. Okay, so we'll give that a nice little stir. Just set that aside. Now, um, going to grab a bowl. Sorry about that. Grab a bowl, and now we're going to start mixing up some of our dry ingredients. So what we are going to start off with is um, two cups of oat flour. Now, don't go out and buy oat flour. Um, all oat flour is is I just literally took two cups of rolled dry oats and I just ran it through the Ninja. Um, you can run it through Magic Bullet, but just give it into a nice powder and you have yourself two cups of, um, yeah, perfect. Um, two cups of oat flour. To that we are going to add an additional cup of just dry rolled oats. And we're going 
going to add a teaspoon of baking soda. Okay. And we are going to add a teaspoon of salt. Whenever a recipe just calls for salt, I always use kosher. So, grab us a whisk here. Now we're going to get the dry ingredients, a nice whisk through to combine all them all. So now what we are going to do, we'll do, run your fingers through that just to make sure you have a nice little mix. Now the next step is to add the dry ingredients slowly to the wet ingredients. So dump some in, give this a nice little stir, dump some in, okay. And this is already starting to come together nicely. Okay. And we'll just dump the remaining in. Okay. And this is all coming together into a nice, perfect, workable, manageable, I wouldn't call it a dough, but a nice mixture. Okay, so that's it for your core ingredients. Now, you can add to this um, any vegan um, mix-ins you want. Um, I'm going to add in some um, vegan cocoa, um, chocolate, nut, uh, chocolate chunks. I'm going to add in some almonds. And I think that's going to be it for my add-ins, but uh, mix-ins. But whatever type of vegan, you know, you know, mix-ins you want to add in, feel free. Um, in fact, I'll be right back. I actually forgot my um, vegan chocolate chips in the pantry, and instead of making you stand there and wait, I'll be right back. So we're back. Um, I just got my chocolate chips. Um, I got some almonds, and I'm going to add in some organic shredded coconut as well. Saw that laying around, and that sounded too good to pass up as well. So. Um, going to dump in a cup of vegan chocolate chips, um, chocolate chunks, uh, anything above 70% cocoa is what is considered to be vegan as far as cocoa goes, so keep that in mind if you are adding any kind of cocoa and you are vegan, but I'm sure if you're vegan you probably knew that already. We're going to add in a cup of this shredded coconut and I got to tell you this company Anthony's is fantastic I use uh, Anthony's for shredded coconut for coconut flour for coconut sugar for almond flour um, for cinnamon I buy big bags of turmeric from them and just fill up the little shakers um, I buy tapioca flour from them um, all sorts of baking stuff. They are all organic. They are all um, gluten-free and their products are all vegan. So those are fantastic products. 
So, and I'm going to now add in some almonds. Well, I don't really measure this out, maybe like half a cup or so. Okay, so that's it. Now, we're going to give this all a stir. And I gotta tell you, I love the taste of chocolate and coconut together. So when I saw those shredded coconuts, okay, so I'm gonna give this a nice stir through, uh, making sure you scrape up the bottom, making sure you scrape the walls. You don't want to miss it, any part. Uh, this is coming together nicely. And what we're going to do, as soon as this comes together, I will um, take a few minutes break and I will get everything set up so that way you don't have to watch. But what I am going to do next is I am going to um, take a cookie sheet, line it with parchment paper, and I'm going to spread these out in um, tablespoons. I'm just going to take a tablespoon and just give a heaping tablespoon per cookie. And those are going to give you perfect size cookies. You can keep them about an inch or so apart on the cookie sheet. You don't have to worry about them um, rising too much or growing too much. So what I'm going to do is just make um, little table size balls. Maybe like a heaping tablespoon. Put it on parchment paper and just kind of tap it down and flatten it out a bit and I'll get them all set up then I will be right back to show you what they're going to look like on the baking sheet before they go in the oven which by the way you might want to start preheating now at 350 degrees okay so back one more time um all the cookies have been put onto cookie sheets. Like I said, I just used a tablespoon, made a little heaping tablespoon, and I was able to get just about two full pans worth, minus one little one spot right there. So um, I'm supposed to make two even pans. I don't know, I guess maybe I've put in a little bit too much in one or the other, but they're all in the pans. are gone. gonna go into the oven now. The oven is set at 350. And we are going to bake these for um, about 17 minutes. Um, I'll probably cook them. Well, I have two trays going in. So what I'm going to do is um, on the two different racks, I will rotate them halfway through just to make sure they bake evenly on the tops and the bottom. So I will do about nine minutes. Um, then I'll flip them, you know, which shelf they're on. Then I'll do another nine minutes. And then I'll be back one last time with the final all cooked, all done product. These are going to be delicious. So we are back one last time. Cookies are now uh, out of the oven and they look and smell fantastic. And um, they're pretty healthy for you, you know, like they're vegan and um, gluten free. So you know, you should uh, feel no guilt in eating these, you know, just don't indulge too much. But um, there's not many harmful ingredients. It's all, you know, like you saw the flours I used were oat flour. Uh, the wet ingredients I used were zucchini and avocado. Um, I think the only, like, vanilla extract might be the only thing in there that's, you know, not healthy, but uh, yeah, these are healthy. These are good for weight loss. Um, I'm dieting down now. I uh, um, my whole transformation started about a year, about a year or so ago. I uh, I lost about 55 pounds in a relatively short period of time. All healthy, um, no surgery, no you know just. From doing healthy stuff which you know I've made a few videos about weight loss tips and some of my drinks but uh, you know I'll make more in the future but um, 
Yeah, it all started about a year ago. I lost 55 pounds, and uh, I did put a few of it back on. Um, unfortunately, I had to have um, some pretty extensive sinus surgery, and I was left about um, at least two or three months of not being able to exercise or so, you know, I kind of just drowned my sorrows and I wasn't able to bake, so I didn't bake anything healthy. So I was just kind of eating away at unhealthy things. But, um, so now we're back, um, shedding my winter weight, shedding my post-surgery weight, getting back in shape. And, uh, so let's take a final look at these cookies. These look fantastic. And they smell fantastic. So um, the recipe is going to be in the description below. Um, as usual, if you have any comments, questions about the ingredients, questions about the recipe, uh, don't hesitate to comment. You know, message me, comment, ask whatever you'd like to ask. If there's any specific um, weight loss, dieting kind of recipe you would like to see, just please let me know. I'm always happy to take requests. I have a whole extensive repertoire of, you know, weight loss and fat burning and dieting and recipes and whatnot. So um, if you have any requests, just please, if you have any comments, please, you know, um, and I know I don't say this after every video, you know, I think it kind of beats a dead horse when you do, but every now and then I like to give a little bit of a plug. So please, if you watch these videos, um, subscribe. If you're into weight loss and health and fitness and even just baking in general, every now and then I do bake. I do bake some stuff that's completely unhealthy, but oh, so good. So, you know, if, if, if you like the videos, if you like, um, weight loss tips, if you like, um, some healthy dieting desserts and videos and bakings, you know, just please hit a like, hit a subscribe. I, you know, I try to post a new recipe or a new video recipe every now and then. So, um, just, uh, subscribe. All right. Thanks for watching. Enjoy.